Hey guys, this is a deck profile of the best guy in this channel, right? The main man. You can't say that because I'm the owner. Well, it counts. All right. What did you play and what did you place at the non-mana tournament? So today was our non-mana tournament. Uh, I got second. I'm playing like a neutered version of Life Twin Pure. I really hated that I had to play uh, the deck that I typically always play, but like 90% of my collection got stolen at the Lubbock Regional, so I unfortunately just kind of had to play what I had. Thankfully, my deck didn't get stolen, so that was nice. So yeah, I'm playing kind of like a Life Twin Pure. So uh, you're gonna start off typically pretty standard stuff. You got your three Lilla, your three Crystal Kill, uh, because I had to take some cards out because they were banned for the non-meta. I am playing the two Frost and one Treat. Uh, these are just solid one card starter. And then uh, if they Ash, Imperm, Baylor, it, as long as they don't do anything besides Gamma, then uh, because you're a twin player, obviously you're always gonna have the extender. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then the one brick, but at least she's pretty. I got the collector's rare at Lubbock, so shout out to Lubbock for at least that. Uh, the brick, it is only played to get a free send from Trouble Sunny. What card is that? This is Evil Twin, Kiss the Kill, and Lilla. The worst card, the worst card in the deck, but also simultaneously the best card for whatever reason. It does what it needs to. And yeah, it does what it needs to, uh, which means it shows up in my hand every third game, unfortunately. Uh, for the hand traps, running three Ghost Ogre, two Ash, one Valor, and one Crow. Uh, Ghost Ogre is just solid. Uh, this was typically kind of left over from like meta stuff, so. But Ogre's good, Ash is good, Effect Valor's good, and Crow's good right now. Also, these are the hand traps that kind of hurt my deck the most. Besides, I don't have Bell, but I don't have a Bell, so. Uh, next for the spells, you got your three secret password. This searches your Rhoda, which is Sunny Snitch, or it searches your Itali, which is home. And I'm playing uh, 3 3 2. Uh, sometimes this this will almost get sighted out every game uh, just for another card that I feel like I need. But going game one, you just want to get any way to your twins as possible, and this helps you do that. If you see like any combination of like secret password and like one of the two, then your hand's absolutely broken because it doesn't matter what your opponent does, you're most likely getting to your twin plays. So that's super nice. Uh, next, I'm playing like a Sky Striker package just because uh, pure. So I'm playing the, the one engage. Hey, I understand, I hate it too. Uh, the Sky Striker uh, engage searches, and then the targets are Shark Cannon, which is just your, uh, this is just your called by basically. You just banish something from grave. Your Eagle Booster. Uh, which just makes your Trouble Sunny unaffected by everything, which is super nice. Your Widow Anchor, which will just negate or steal uh, your Afterburner. And so this is just kind of like the Sky Striker stuff. Everyone knows what Sky Striker cards do, but because you're playing pure, you're rarely ending on anything but just Trouble Sunny and the extra monster zone pass. And having such a strong boss monster backed by, you know, solid spell cards is just is just nice. You laugh whenever your opponent tries to uh, imperm your Trouble Sunny to get it out during standby phase or force it out. And you're like, dang, that's crazy. Chain Eagle Booster. I don't care about your imperm dog. Shout out to Joseph. Spicy. Yeah, for real. Uh, next, the two cross outs. Uh, that's why you're playing the weird amount of hand traps. Uh, I think this at three is kind of a brick. And uh, it also, it's just kind of a dead card if you go up against something that you don't have in your deck, so it's nice. Uh, shout out to this card though, I also use it to deck thin. I played against a Mystic Mind player, and in the end phase I activated one to just call like Ogre to get it out of my deck so I could see my spell and trap hate. So uh, it either deck thins or it actually saves you. Uh, next, two droplets, I only have two, but uh, this card is absolutely insane. Uh, shout out to the eventual reprint in the Megaton. Uh, but it's still going to be like 145 bucks, but whatever. Uh, especially with Trouble Sunny, it's just nice because you Trouble Sunny effect, summon the two, and then you can droplets one of them away and then just activate the effect to bring the other one back. So you don't really lose advantage on the field for using this. So that's kind of a cool tech play. Uh, next, the, 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 real, the real spice, the enemy controller. Uh, similarly to uh, with droplets, you can just activate Trouble Sunny, summon back there get the effects or you can just get pink effect to draw one 
and keep blue, and most people will wonder what the hell you're doing. Uh, but then whenever they summon anything that's like relevant to their combo, they either need it on their field or in their grave. You just say, dang, that's crazy, uh, tribute, uh, steal it, tribute the blue, and then you're chilling with it on board. And if they do anything else, you just use pink to summon back blue, and then you get a pop. So this allows you to steal and pop, which is kind of nuts. Did it come up ever today? Uh, it didn't come up today. I probably could have used it, but I think I played a little bit too safe against the Earth Machine deck. And so it should, I probably could have actually won the Earth Machine matchup, but uh, that deck just does so much. I didn't know what to do. Kind of choice paralysis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next, your Saki cards. You got your uh, Monster Reborn. I mean, you just reborn something out of their grave or you just reborn Trouble Sunny. So you have Trouble, Trouble, Trouble Sunnies on board going second. That's super nice. Uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, back row hate, uh, called by, shout out to uh, Joseph, I always draw this against him, uh, the sackiest cards in the game, and then I'm playing the two Imperm, uh, I think because there's so much draw power and so much inherent like seeing cards in your deck, uh, I think two is fine, I am, I'm playing at 41, I kind of like that right now, I could go down to 40 and I feel like I could also go up to 42, uh, so that's whatever. Uh, next, the extra deck. It's going to look a little weird just because of our non-meta stuff, but it is what it is. Uh, we have the what's supposed to be the Zeus package, but Zeus package is banned, and I just forgot to take out Downard. So I have Sky Cavalry, which is just insane, deals with a lot of problems. Also, you can just put it in defense and sit on it, unless they have effect negation. And then the Downard, which is supposed to go into your, climb into your Zeus, but Zeus was banned, so it was worthless. Uh, the next card in the extra deck, uh, Lingaribo. This card's insane. Uh, I laugh at trap cards, but, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, the actual best cards, uh, the two Light and Dark Charmers, uh, you can make these with your twins. Uh, normal summon, activate effect, summon the other one back. Steal something really strong in their graveyard, and then uh, you can, like, live twin home and go into your twin place from there with having enough. Uh, but these are just good. Um, on Destruction, they search uh, all of your starters. So they search either, uh, this will search blue and treat, and then this will search pink and frost. So it's just kind of nice uh, interaction. It just kind of keeps you, kind of keeps you in the game. Uh, and then we have the, the twins, uh, pink and blue. Yeah, Collector's Rares, shout out to Lubbock for that too. Uh, this gets you a draw if you summon when blue's on board. This gets you a pop. Uh, this is just how you link climb, and I mean, they're just solid cards all around. Uh, you wouldn't think that with kind of the power of decks that a pop, that a pop and a, dr a draw on your opponent's turn would be enough, but for some decks it just is, it just kills them. Uh, next, your one card OTK machine, uh, Transco Talker, basically effectively makes it to where I think you have about uh, 10,200 on board or something like that, uh, so that's super nice. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, it's really easy to co-link, so you get a spin and a draw. Uh, Griffin, uh, this is what kind of replaced the Zeus slot. It didn't really come up, except uh, when I was playing against a Mystic Mind player, I was able to out his first Mystic Mind uh, with a Cosmic, and I made this instead of Trouble Sunny, just so that way I could pitch to set the Cosmic again, just in case he got some other crazy card or another Mystic Mind, so I had the out waiting. So that's super nice, uh, but again, because you can co-link really easy, these represent a ditch and a draw, so that's super nice. And then, last but not least, the best card in the deck, the card that made it kind of like not super rogue. Show the people. Was Trouble Sunny, shout out to the one Starlight. Uh, need two more, but uh, we broke boy, so make sure you subscribe and like. But uh, <laughs> this card's just insane. It tributes itself as cost uh, to summon back the pink and blue, any pink and blue, and it doesn't have to be both at the same time. So if you don't have Eagle Booster set and they Imperm, then you can, uh, if they try to force out with Imperm, you just Imperm, they go Imperm, and you just chain, you bring back the one pink. Where's that? You bring out the one pink and you don't have to summon back the blue, and then they do anything, you just activate pink effect to summon back the blue. Uh, it sucks because if you do it this way, you don't get the draw, which is arguably probably one of the best things as well, but at least you still have some form of interruption. And then when it's in the graveyard, uh, you banish this for cost and then send an evil twin from hand, deck, or field uh, for cost. So you're sending the big girl, or if you're a psycho, you can just send the, the little ones off field uh, for a non-targeting send. And I mean, that that's just insane. Just a non-targeting send for free. They have to interact with it or they just lose something. 
gets around like almost all destruction negation, so it's pretty hard to stop. Next for the side deck, the side deck is just what I had lying around from the meta, but uh, Lancia didn't come up today. Droll, solid, uh, it was all right. Uh, triple attack, I think playing this, playing this in the side for this deck is correct because uh, your twin combos are kind of fragile in a sense. Like they can still extend through everything, but they're susceptible to like any type of uh, disruption. So signing this in game, going game two or game three, like you're almost guaranteed to get this off because they're gonna have to interact with you. So that's super nice. Better mind control. Yeah, the better mind control. Uh, two Cosmic Cyclone and one Twin Twister, just back row hate. Uh, I like this kind of ratio because a lot of people are running uh, Lancia. So if you if you Lancia, then I can't Cosmic something. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. And then Twin is sometimes good. Uh, and then three evenly, uh, just the best one of the best blowout cards in the game right now. And then the third Imperm for uh, either going first or second, depending on what I'm playing against. Well, is there anything you would like to change in your deck list? Uh, for the non-meta, there's nothing I would change. Maybe put something in besides the Downward Magician because it was it was a dead card unless I just wanted to meme. Uh, but I think for the non-meta, it performed really well. I think uh, I really like this deck. It's it's super interactive and fun for me. I thoroughly enjoy it, and I feel like the games that I lose are more to me misplaying than they are to like my opponent just straight being better sometimes so maybe that's just a little bit of cockiness but i just think the deck can do so much for so little investment and that's what makes it dope all right later guys Any shout outs? oh uh shout out to the man behind the cam jason uh you just you'll see his dino deck profile shout out to joseph uh joseph nick nate evan pretty much everyone uh Shout out to the Odessa guys too. Uh, whenever my uh, shit got stolen at the Lubbock Regional, uh, a bunch of people came through and like either handed me like hand traps that had gotten stolen, or just came up to me and be like, "Hey, I know you had some of these cards in your binder. Like, here, take them. You don't owe you don't owe me anything." So uh, every community has kind of its uh, trashy players, but uh, you know, I had the I had the homies. Uh, I had the homies from Abilene and from Odessa that just came through with just handing me cards and making me not want to quit the game after my stuff got stolen. But yeah, just shout out to everyone. Shout out to both great communities and hopefully uh, next time I go to a regional, I'll actually top and my shit won't get stolen. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it.